Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Stukas. I'm a professor of clinical pediatrics, a board certified allergist and immunologist, and I'm also a member of the Medical and Scientific Council for the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. There are many misconceptions in regards to allergic conditions and asthma and food allergies, and we're going to address several of those to try to help give good evidence-based information and combat the misinformation that's out there. Does local honey help with allergies? I mean, it sure does taste good, but unfortunately, it's not going to treat your allergies. Uh, so this is a very common misconception. And a lot of times, if you go to your local farmer's market, they will they will uh, upcharge the local honey that they'll sell you to treat allergies. But here's the deal. So the pollen that honeybees collect uh, comes from uh, plants such as flowers that don't produce pollen that causes the symptoms of environmental allergies. The pollen in flowers and things like that is relatively large. It doesn't get up in the air and blow around. If you have outdoor pollen allergies, you're, you're experiencing um, reactions to the pollen released from trees and grasses and weeds and ragweed. So the pollen that bees collect uh, when they produce honey is a very different type of pollen from what actually causes allergic rhinitis symptoms. Uh, the other thing to consider too is, um, I mean, it's extremely un, uh, variable in regards to how much pollen is actually present in every batch of honey. And if somebody with pollen allergies was actually eating honey that contained the pollen that was causing their allergies, it wouldn't make them feel better. It would make them have an allergic reaction. Uh, so, you know, there's some very basic reasons why that doesn't help. There's also no evidence to support using honey to treat allergies. I suspect a lot of this comes from the theories behind desensitization, such as what we use for, say, allergy shots or sublingual uh, immunotherapy, where we expose people to very small and gradually increasing amounts of their allergen. And over time, we can desensitize them and get their immune system uh, to, to be less responsive to that, to that pollen or, or um, allergen over time. Well, this is a, you know, it's, this is a process that is pretty consistently done over years and years and years, which is very different than just eating some honey every once in a while. So, you know, even if honey did have the ability to desensitize somebody to their allergens, it would have to be done in a very circumscribed manner, but it simply doesn't do that. So buy honey because you like the taste of it. Uh, it actually can be soothing for people who have post-nasal drip and mucus running down the back of their throat, um, you know, especially at night if it causes cough. Uh, and it just tastes good. But um, you know, don't spend your money on it because you think it's going to fix your pollen allergies. Sorry.